security operatives on stop and search at different points along Itoiking Ekpe Road in Lagos, Nigeria's southwest region. For some time now, some daredevil kidnappers have been on rampage in the state, and their major targets is the farmers whom they abduct in exchange for ransom. Their activities have also undermined efforts to take the country back to agriculture as a driver of economic resurgence, which has since suffered setbacks in the state. Many of the farmers who have invested in mechanized farming on this over 600 hectares of land have abandoned their investments for fear of being kidnapped. Poultry are lying desolate with hundreds of fowls cackling. We have over 150 farms in Ibodo. Over 150 farms. And this incident of kidnapping has been recording maybe every two, two weeks, every three, three weeks. And you know, everybody, you know, nobody knows who's next. And we are scared. We, on our own small way, we've contributed money to make sure that we secure our environment. But the last one that happened, the OPC man that is guiding the, the two of them, was also abducted with the farm hands. More worrisome is the action taken by workers of this center established by the Lagos State Government in Igbodu area. The offices are shot and entrances are under lock and key as they have been for months now, owing to fear of who could be next. Mr. Akoredeore is a vegetable farmer, but he explains farmers now come in groups to farm out of fear. He alleges that the police have advised him to seek the assistance of local vigilante. In each of those instances, the police never got involved in helping the, the principals, the people that was abducted in getting the people out or through the ransom uh, situation, uh, getting even some, any form of intelligence that could help. We want a military sweep of that place. If they could come in and sweep that place clean, just like they did at the, on the uh, Ikorodu axis, it would be very good for us. For now, some of the victims are still being held captive and farmers and other residents are hoping security will be beefed up to avoid a recurrence.